yeah, basically we'll set for another adventure. This time is uh, down here. I have few technical problems with my car. Can't really drive that car that far away. It's only 60 kilometers away from my home. Currently is 4.36 in the morning. Temperature around 5 degrees. I'm about to leave at 5. It's a 56 minutes drive up to Dunlear parking lot and uh, again it's just my uh, passion for long exposure minimalistic black and white photography this time I just want to capture the East and West Pier and possible other similar location in that particular area and uh, I'll make a vlog about it why not and maybe we can discuss first further about the use of ND filters uh, and uh, ND grads. I'm trying to catch the sunrise. Uh, this time tight doesn't really matter and I didn't check that it, it won't be any difference. You're not going to have a tide and um, receding waters there in the bay. That's not what is most important is the position of the sun and uh, I'm happy to say that it will rise at 7.15 but it will be behind the pier which is exactly what I intended uh, I want to be there an hour in advance this is the golden hour and probably it will yield the best uh, outcome now just to show you on the map we have here basically the west pier and the east pier and uh, the parking lot is about this area this is when I want to park my car and then it's just if we can measure the, the distance it's just basically what 200 maybe 300 uh, meters uh, walk up until this limb of earth here which will give me a nice shot um, or over the west and east pier most likely most probably is actually this one i'm talking about so the distance between parking lot in this area 500 meters and then probably another 100 meters up to the location of the shoot um, so i want to be uh, around here and I can have a view of the both piers and then I'm interested also in this element here and this limb of earth which I think it will make a nice minimalistic composition if we switch the map to terrain there is a certain bridge in this area which probably can be photographed as well then I intend to walk on the Dunlear East Harbor area and probably shoot the East Pier from this location I will be here and I'm shooting in that direction and we see what else it catches our eyes in the same area there is a very nice Lebanese restaurant well it's a kebab or something like this and I'll indulge in that around most likely 11 o'clock after that I'm returning home yeah within down there car is secured beautiful day sun is about to rise We'll go to the pier, it's a 15 minute walk and we'll see how it goes.
Yeah. So I'm in, I'm in the place, I mean at the pier, I'm just between those West and Easter Pier, as you can see in the background. Beautiful morning, the sky is getting some colors, I'm just trying to get uh, probably uh, the East Pier first, the one that is with uh, the Red Hood. I'll try to get a minimalistic long exposure photography now, sun is behind it sky is getting some colors uh, let's see what's happening I'll try to probably smooth the water with a 10 uh, 10 stop uh, B big leaf filter and I'll be using my 70 to 200 millimeter lens plus minus polarizing plus minus in the grad and uh, I hope that that's that should be cool yeah So again, I have found myself in a backlit situation. I'm shooting with picture profile off this time. Forget about S-Log just to see how it goes. And again, I have found another composition. This time I have, I will try to get the both spears that will be somehow in the background. And in between them, that will be this third limb of earth that will create some sort of a magical triangle a long exposure, uh, minimalistic photography, kind of busy composition. I would have loved to be a little bit probably on a higher point, but it is what it is. Uh, sunset was not amazing. It doesn't matter. St there are still some colors in the sky. And uh, once you shoot black and white, you just take advantage of the softness of the light. It's obviously it's not about the colors, but sometimes you just try to kill two birds with one stone in terms that you just try to you know get a color shot and a black and white version of the same thing sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so let's do that and uh, we'll take it from there I hope you can see behind me the, the bridge I was talking about previously. Uh, unfortunately, it is not what I expected, what I was to remember. It doesn't really make a nice long exposure photography. Sun is just above the horizon now. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it's an amazing day, but I just have to, to skip this photo and probably I'm just going to go now to shoot, uh, as I said, I'll shoot the East Pier from its uh, base, uh, just to get a variety of, of angles, uh, and we'll see what I can come up with else. Nine o'clock, I have to be back to the parking lot to pay for the parking. It's free up until 9 a.m., and then you have to pay like four euros for all day. It's not too bad. It's just that uh, a lot of possibilities here and I'm just going to explore the area a little bit more. Sun is getting colored, it's absolutely beautiful. We'll see what else we can uh, discover here in Dunlear. Absolutely stunning day, stunning. We're almost there now, at the base of the East Pier. You know, sometimes it amazes me, like, 
what people really think about photography. Just met a person walking his dog and he saw me taking pictures, like my camera approaches me, and then he showed me that he also took a picture of the sunrise with his mobile phone and he waited for me to finish my long exposure, glanced at my camera LCD and realized that he told me that it kind of looks the same. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, like people still think that cameras are better than the photographer itself and they don't realize that you have to make a photograph, not take a photograph, you have to put a lot of thought into it and, you know, to have a lot of knowledge behind it. I don't want to pat my own shoulder, but it's a huge difference between taking a photo and making a photo. And obviously mobile phone screens are much better than LCD camera screens. That's a different story. I probably never use mobile phones to take this type of photos. I don't like the feel of it and I just don't like the fact that you can't really use polarizing or any grads. Anyway, we'll move on because I have to be back in half an hour to take that to pay the, for the parking. <laughs> right. I think I finished the session now. I put my hood on, so I'm framing my face through this hood in a very nice composition. <laughs> I have no other reason to take this shot, but because I just want to, to see how the GoPro shoots in 5K, 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Uh, I think I'll call it for today. I'm not going to the West Pier. I'm just going back home. I don't want to pay the parking, it starts at 9 o'clock, it's only 4 euro all day, I just don't want to do it. I found another minimalistic composition with five, some sort of a light stands on a background. I did a two minutes long exposure, it was too long so I reduced it to one minute. It looks better, it's nothing to portfolio, but not, it's not portfolio work. but. Uh, anyway, it's it's absolutely usable. I used uh, the same three-stop anti-grad polarizing and uh, uh, the big stopper. Ultimately, I'm very happy with today, and uh, I'll surely return here, probably to photograph from the West Pier next time, and we'll just see what else we can go. It's it was a pleasure to be here. I'm heading back now. I'm still thinking of that Lebanese uh, food. Uh, anyway, man, I think I'll just uh, I think I'll just eat at home. Ultimately, I don't know. <laughs> great, great morning. So now let the day begin. See you all next time. Thank you.